if you're looking for an island of adventure and a little relaxation, this place has it all. Stay tuned to the end for my top tips on exploring this famous beach. Where are we going next? Let's go. Welcome back to the Travel and Cheesehead. My name is Michelle, and on this channel, we cover everything travel related travel planning tips vlogs, reviews, and recommendations to destinations around the world. And today I have got something really special for you. Everybody loves the Caribbean, me especially, I love it. And one of my favorite islands is the island of St. Martin and St. Martin. It is the smallest island that has two countries that claim different parts of it. So. I am going to take you today to Maho Beach, which is one of the most famous beaches in all of the Caribbean. And it's not for the reason that you might think. Yes, the water is crystal clear and blue. Yes, the sand is wonderful. But what's really cool is what happens overhead. Enjoy the show.
people flying off the beach. Whoa. There it goes. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Maho Beach flyovers. It is an experience like no other. I highly recommend it. I will give you two tips. Number one, make sure that once cruises start going again, you avoid cruise ship days, especially before four o'clock because all of the cruise ships are there. It's not a big beach and it's very hard to find a place to plop down where you're not on top of each other. Number two, make sure that you are careful as to where you set your stuff down. That jet blast is real. It will blow all of your crap into the water. So just be careful, um, but enjoy it. It's, it's kind of like getting um, a sand treatment, like an abrasion treatment on your face. So I don't recommend looking at the plane when it takes off. Always have your back to the plane. It will blow you over. Um, I know both of the times that I was right behind, especially the larger planes, it blew me to my knees. So just be prepared for that. Brace yourself for that jet blast. It's a lot stronger than you think it's gonna be, but it is quite the experience, but be safe out there and have fun exploring St. Martin. I hope you found today's thing helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Go ahead and comment below and don't forget to subscribe because I have new travel content coming out every single week and you don't want to miss a thing. Thanks again for watching the Travel and Cheese Head. Until next time, travel safe. Where are we going next? Let's go.